All right, sky watchers, get ready for two big celestial events this coming week. We've got a partial lunar eclipse that's happening, but uh, more importantly, on Tuesday, there's a rare uh, Venus transit where Venus will cross between the, the Earth and the Sun. And uh, we're not going to see this for another hundred years. So Reynolds Wolf, Wolf is on it, and you're going to tell me exactly how I can see it and what it's what it's going to look like. Well, that's that's one of the tricky kind of things. It is definitely going to be happening, and and it is without a doubt going to be something cool, but it will be very difficult to see. First and foremost, you can only be in certain parts of the country. The best place to actually see this, if you happen to live along the West Coast or anyone anywhere near close proximity to the Pacific Ocean, you should have a decent time if weather allows and if you have the right equipment. Now, for most people, you need something almost like welder's glasses to use to. Protect your eyes from the sun, but if you have those, you should be able to see a very small dot that will be crossing the sun, and that, of course, is going to be Venus. Right there gives you also an idea of just how immense the sun happens to be. Uh, the, something else is going to be kind of interesting is, is a lot of people may have the compulsion to try to look up and see it. Again, you don't want to stare directly in the sun. So the same rules apply for when we had, actually, even more so because so little of the sun is actually going to be blocked out. Same rules apply as like when we, when we had the, the, the solar eclipse just a couple of weeks ago. Precisely, you won't have the same intensity. You want the, the exact same intensity, but it's going to be very, very. And similar. people may look at this picture and say, "Well, that's just insignificant." I, I want to yeah. see a, you know, a solar eclipse where the sun blacks out during the day. But those happen fairly frequently. Much I mean, more. At least a few times in our lifetime. Absolutely. But this, this one. is not going to happen. For the rest of our life. Absolutely. So the temptation will be there to try to view this if you get the opportunity. By all means, do so. But everyone, again, you have to protect the eyes. For you personally, Rob, I recommend that you wear reading glasses, the strongest telescope you can possibly have, <laughs> and, and just aim it right towards the sun. Advice, you, just, just for you, for no one else, but just for you. He's always been like a father to me. And absolutely. And that sort of advice and Father's Day right around, right around the corner. But uh, truly listen. amazing. The next opportunity to see this is going to be about, uh, about a century from now. So now you say West Coast is best, but I mean, yeah, you know, Atlanta, Atlanta, Chicago, kind of as the sun is setting, we'll get to see some of it if we have. You might time. see some, but the biggest enemy is going to be time because obviously as the sun sets over towards the west is when this is going to be occurring. So I'm talking if you're in Atlanta or say even in Dallas, it's going to be really, really far in the horizon. So you got really time is going to be the big issue. Plus, at the same time, you're also going to have the, the light will be diffusing somewhat with uh, atmospheric dust and whatnot that will be out towards the west.